Hey y'all, what's going on? Um, a little toast to my birthday. There's no way I couldn't do a brain leak today. Um, not only did I see what, in my opinion, as a prepper, is probably the potential or the baby steps to my personal biggest fear as a prepper, and that's virus outbreaks. Now, according to the news reports I read, a lot of big words, but these are viruses that the CDC has deemed the most dangerous because they are completely um, antibiotic resistant. And I think 25 to 27 states are already seeing multiple cases coming through. Um, varying in levels from the worst to please don't even say the name of the disease um, they're saying obviously I say that because I can't think of the damn names but the one thing is is that most of the people that have been found to have these diseases uh, have been seen in a hospital overseas or in another country however um, they can be a carrier of the disease and not even know it. Uh, and if they go into a hospital, I'm kind of remembering what I read this morning, which you all know my memory sucks. Um, they may not even know they have this. They may go into the hospital for a broken arm and spread it there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how these things spread, whether it's through, uh, you know, uh, 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 bodily fluids, uh, Salva, uh, salva, uh, saliva, um, blood, airborne pathogens. I, ooh, pathogens. Check me out. But they're seeing a lot more of this happening. And it's a case that the CDC is actually calling scary. Um, saying it's, it's their worst nightmare if this got any worse. And I hate to be, I'm not trying to be a fear monger or anything like that, but it concerns me because this is my biggest fear. You can't shoot a virus. My wife works in a damn drugstore. Um, it, it's, it's paralyzing to think of her coming down with something like this. Um, or, you know, it, it, it spreads throughout the country. Um, I mean, and we're due. We're due. If you look throughout history, the the pandemics that have happened, uh, we've had these little scares recently: the the swine flu, bird flu, uh, hantavirus, uh, all all these other ones that really didn't amount to much. I mean, yeah, they they caused a lot of deaths, but from my understanding, not even as many deaths as the typical yearly flu causes in the United States. So, this could be scary, um, and I'm 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 worried about it. But what can you do? What what can you do? There's nothing you can do. Stay home, and then what? Not pay your bills. You know there there's not there's nothing you can do uh, besides you know personal hygiene, keeping your hands clean. Uh, don't kiss strangers. My wife frowns on that anyway. So, um, but anyways, and then the boot. Right here in my wonderful state, which I have always felt like uh, is probably one of the best states to live in as far as our laws, we're releasing criminal, illegal aliens right out onto the streets for no other reason than they're scared of this, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, I'm trying to look at the news here because I know they're going to say it. This damn... Uh, Jeez, my mind just went blank. Sequester or something like that. Um, which, why are they releasing them now? Uh, no, no changes have happened yet. They're fearful of changes happening. Um, but they haven't happened yet. So they go and pay these people overtime to come in on a weekend without even informing the county sheriffs that they're doing this and releasing 
these criminal illegal aliens right onto the streets. These criminal illegal aliens that have already been deemed, which from my understanding, even Obama, which you know I hate even saying his name, said need to be deported. We're putting them right onto the streets. Thanks, Napolitano. So there you go. That's my little brain drain for the day. Y'all have a good one. In a couple hours, my wife gets off work, and we're going to go uh, celebrate my birthday. Y'all take care, and uh, try to keep positive. Talk to you later.